Email marketing campaigns are extremely profitable and this is why you should be sending them at least twice a week. But coming up with new content ideas every single month might seem like a mission impossible, especially if you want to provide an excellent customer experience and increase your revenue by sending more emails. This is why in this video I'll show you exactly how to create high converting email campaign calendar that educates your customers but also generates a ton of sales. Now if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Advisor and I've been able to generate over seven figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Before I show you how I create campaign calendars as well as what type of content to send, I want to talk about how often should you email your email list. So there's really no clear answer to this. For some brands it's gonna be like five times a week, for some other it's gonna be like two times a week, but the bare minimum I suggest you do is at least twice a week. Now twice a week I don't mean like sending two promotional contents a week because this doesn't make sense. What I always like to do is when sending two campaigns per week make sure that one of them uh, is educational one like providing content value and so on and then the other one is actual promotional one. So let's say that the first campaign of the week could be a blog article then the other one could be you know 20% off or any other deal that you might have or it could also be some other type of content which I'll cover later on. But in general this is something you have to figure out for your brand specifically because for some some brands, as I said, uh, two per week is gonna be enough, it's gonna be perfectly okay, but for other brands, five times a week is not gonna be enough and maybe you need to send like even seven per week. So yeah, you need to figure it out, just start with two per week and then each week increase the volume and then you just watch your metrics. If the open rates are good, if the click rates are good and the overall like key metrics are the same or higher, then make sure you just keep sending more until you see that, okay, those metrics are starting to diminish and they are going down, decreasing. So then if you see this type of sign, just stop sending more, uh, cap your week weekly volume at for example 4 or 5 and just stick to that. Now let's jump into the actual content of those campaigns. Alright now it's time to create the actual campaign calendar. So you can just pull up any template, um, you can just google you know like uh, excel template or google spreadsheet uh, month templates whatever just to make sure that you have it like divided like that. You can use pretty much anything this is what works for me because it's very simple I don't like to overcomplicate things where I don't have to. So yeah, just pull up a, a campaign calendar for each month and then like I just manually, you know, change those numbers. Probably there is a better way to do it, but for me it works. It doesn't take so much time. So yeah, uh, then what I like to do is first of all, uh, define how many emails I'm going to send per month, right? Per week, sorry. Uh, so then if we're sending two per week, as I said, so we will be sending, for example, right there. Uh, then there will be two, three, four, five, um, then email number six and email number 7 and number 8. So this is how it will look like. Um, those are pretty much days when we would send the email. Uh, we can actually maybe mark them different colors so it's visible, we can clearly see what I'm talking about. So yeah, let's just mark it, uh, yeah, for example, yellow, yeah. So then on those days we're sending campaigns, right? So this is just first part of the of the plan of the equation and then if you'd be sending you know more for example three per week you would just add them anywhere so for example we'd be sending one more on a Saturday as well uh, yeah we'll just change this color and then again if you're just sending more uh, just adjust it personally if you're not sending five emails per week I like to spread them out so have it like you know email at a break email at a break and so on and so forth Obviously, you ha if you're sending free per week, there's gonna be a day where we have like two per two days uh, break, but that's fine. It's completely fine. This is just, just this is just work what works for me. Uh, you can also play with you know sending times, sending days. You can just do a bunch of other stuff. Usually for me, I like sending on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays, mainly because on Monday people are quite be quite busy with their own life. There are also a lot of people sending the emails, uh, their inboxes get you know a lot of messages and so on. And then same goes on Friday. Usually people are just out uh, partying or having fun or whatever. And I found that Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays will work well. But again, for some of my clients, those day those days are terrible. Uh, for some of them, it doesn't matter that much. So again, you just have to figure it out for your own brand. Okay, so once we have defined what type or when do we want to send those emails and how many per week, then what I like to do is come up with like a general content idea. So I'm not gonna be like, you know, uh, writing 20% off right there because it doesn't make sense. What I would do is I would define it into one of the two buckets, which is either a promotional content or educational one. So as I said, I like to make like a healthy mix of 50-50. So let's say on Tuesdays, I uh, will be sending educational emails right educational i can type oh my god yeah so educational uh, let's make it you know third uh, right there and maybe slightly bigger uh, for example like that 
right? So then it's clearly visible. Yeah, so this is the first part. And then again, like let's say Tuesdays are for education um, and Thursdays are gonna be promotional. Right, so this is how we do it. Uh, this is the first step of creating the content calendar. And then if you have Saturdays, what you can do uh, is just you can mix it to be fair. So you, you can have it like that. Uh, and yeah, like for example, or okay, again, uh, then I would like also look at the uh, actual like any holidays or whatever. So right now we have a, a Valentine's Day. We already had it in uh, in February. So instead of sending educational content, we would like to send a promotional one, uh, and then to not make it like always promotions, then we can maybe switch uh, education right there. So like we have actually then the promotional email uh, as the last like two emails in a row at the end of the month, which is fine. They could do like you know a weekend flash sale or whatever. It works fine so this is the first thing i do then we already have one car one holiday marked which is valentine's day so we want to send a promotional content which is fine and then is where the magic happens so then once i know uh what type of campaign am i gonna send on each particular day then i'm coming up with some new content ideas so first of all our promotional one let's say that you know we could do uh, and what I also like to do is just a bunch of offers and campaign ideas. So here is um, like my file of campaign ideas for educational content. For promotional content, it will differ from each client. So again, you just have to write it down. Just make a simple, simple Google sheet. I write down all the offers that you have, and then come up with some ideas. So let's say you know on the second uh, of January we do 10% off, right? Then we go have another promotional one. Um, so what we could do is, for example, do reviews push right so we'll be just talking about reviews testimonials success stories and so on and so forth uh, then on uh, valentine's day some sort of free gift or ebook uh, just an example then other promotional one could be uh, repost reviews so you could pro for example push best sellers uh, as you can see promotional doesn't always mean giving away discounts it's just an example of ty and type of campaign you want to send then promotional one one uh one type of campaign that worked extremely well for one of our clients got like 5% click for rate was comparing to products. So if you can do that, it would be product comparison, uh, for example, for basic version versus ver version pro. And then the last uh, promotional email could be maybe, I don't know, uh, buy uh, this weekend and get free shipping. Right, so this is how we do like how, how we go about promotional uh, campaigns. Again, this is just an example. Personally, I don't like sending, uh, you know, sales only on Thursday. I will just kind of mix them, try to send on different days, and play a little bit to, to make it not that dull, not that you know boring. Uh, but this is just an example. So remember that you can just play around with that. And if something that's repeatable works for the list, because for example, they know that on Tuesday they can expect the educational campaign and on Thursday you're gonna run some type of, you know, promotion, then it's still fine. Like just test it. And I think for promotional ones, it's kind of easier because you have a bunch of angles. Like for example, best sellers push, you could also do cross sell to existing customers. Let's say you sell a jewelry and your best selling uh, you know, piece of jewelry are necklaces. You could cross sell rings or bracelets. Um, what you could also do is have a bunch of other offers being tested. Uh, we tested only 10% as a discount code. You could test some other like 10 bucks off, uh, maybe for gift, maybe higher percentage, maybe something else. Buy one, two, one, uh, buy one, get one, sorry, buy one, get one. Uh, a ton of other offers that you want to test, really like push best sellers, uh, new arrivals as well. If you have them, push them. Uh, last chance or back in stock or whatever, really a bunch of other content. But I think like where the uh, most of people struggle is educational content, what type of campaigns to send, I'm running out of ideas uh, and so on. So yeah, here's the general um, like plan for my campaigns, uh, like general I themes and campaigns ideas. I'll link them in the video description down below so you can use them uh, and whatever, whatever time you want to. But in general, those are the campaigns I would be sending. So SKU running low. Uh, don't create fake urgency. This is just to send when it's actually low in stock. Then restock and straightforward like when you restock a product, it would also fall under the uh, under the promotional campaigns, but it will be like 50-50 because those people who signed up for the restock news, so this is why you want to send them. Then again, um, if you are in a jewelry or clothing niche, outfit or stock jewelry ideas works well, so it would be one idea. So uh, let's say it's a jewelry brand, so how to stack or like uh, bring stack ideas, right? It would be one educational campaign. Um, if 
ideally you would be sending it to a blog article showing people how to create their own stack where you could link some of your rings but if you don't have it it's still fine you can send people to even to your instagram if you have like reels showing how to stack them or just like basic photos or uh feed posts it works as well so yeah this would be the third one then how to uh so again uh to for example this we could send how to um it would again like talk about the ring stack but would frame it differently so how to uh create your own perfect stack so these are like you know uh on fourth we send some general ideas from other people and then on the 11 we're sending how you can create your own stack which is like you know you want to be unique and so on one of a kind uh so that's it then testimonial success stories uh we don't have it again it's like a promotional campaign so reviews push is fine um then product feedback this is something you can also do so it really it's really great for the deliverability as well because you incentivize people to reply so uh it could be educational company here so for example uh what pieces uh would you like uh to see for example if you are running um i don't know like maybe an anime related jewelry brand then you want to ask like what anime they like uh, or what type of the jewelry they want to in general maybe some of your customers are extra or like subscribers know how to design it or some have some content uh, sorry some products ideas just give them the uh, you know the ability to share it, share it with you so yeah just like ask about the feedback um uh, this is like feedback or like ideas for the future product but also like what do you like the most about our product uh product products right so again just getting feedback uh, getting more reviews asking people to do so us versus them always a great angle uh, so comparing yourself to the you know to your competitors why your for example jewelry is superior and better than your competitors you want to show it tell your customers so we'd be talking about your usp quite a lot there so yeah that'll be it um then another educational one could be uh, Mythbuster. So again, uh, for example, they think that you know uh, Mythbuster would be great. So it will it will again depend on the brand. But let's say that maybe your customers think that your jewelry can harm their skin or they're allergic to your jewelry, and you know you're producing it out of uh, special metal that doesn't uh, isn't allergic allergenic. So it doesn't cause the allergy to people. You want to talk about it? Some just talk about some other myths. Uh, maybe your jewelry is gold filled instead of gold plated so like you know they'd be thinking like okay it's the same uh so you could be okay why Ju gold filled jewelry is different than gold plated jewelry you're kind of talking about the myths uh it, it's like the example of gold filled and gold plated is us versus them but again like there are some myths so we can just play around with that uh how x went from y to z so it wouldn't work for a jewelry brand specifically it would work great for like supplements uh cpg and so on but for example if you have weight loss supplement or anything that solves like a health problem this works extremely well same goes for testimonials uh success stories extremely powerful for supplement brands uh day in the life so again with jewelry it could be decent so you know how um they deal off with my favorite pieces and so on and so forth but other than that you could also just talk about the uh, for example supplements so how to take them how is it helping when do i feel the energy boost uh just a bunch of other stuff if you showcase so this is right there uh, if you push i took it as, as a promotional campaign which is fine new arrivals already covered that a uh, promotional one product comparison again uh something extremely powerful as a promotional campaign this is cross sell so like very straightforward like uh if you bought necklaces let's see uh, let's see, just check out their bracelets and rings uh extremely easy and simple outfit ideas same goes for jewelry stacking ideas so this is how you want to do show people how to start the jewels how, how to stack their outfits and you know like okay so we didn't cover this one right like this is the only one we didn't cover so yeah like what you could do um is just pick one of those like to be fair product comparison or review showcase or daily live with, with my jewelry could be also fine so let's do it uh day in the life with my favorite pieces so this is kind of storytelling campaign but again i uh, just want to have a mix of both uh so you make sure you have some kind of kind of value-packed content talking about the brand and not only spamming uh discounts are uh, left and right and as you can see we have three campaigns per week and only one is really giving an incentive which could be anything obviously you can insert more if it works for you and if you want it to be like that you're just gonna make way more sales this is how it works uh but don't like get rid of those campaigns like totally because they also generate extremely good sales so you want to have a mix of both 
as you can see three campaigns per week only one sale which you still don't have to do because instead of the uh, actual sale you could just do new arrivals um anything like that work or cross sell up as well so this is how you create the campaign calendar again those are just some ideas i noted down for myself but if, if it's not enough for you if you're struggling you just write down a bunch of other ideas like overall and general ideas and then come up with the exact content you want to send uh, for example one campaign idea could be a blog article and then you search a bunch of blog articles and for example you search up 10 and then every single month you send one and then what i recommend you do is if you have like a top performing campaign which is doing great I would make it an evergreen campaign and send it every month or two months for example let's say new arrivals are um or maybe this is a bad idea because it depends when you have new arrivals but let's say that ring stack ideas or reviews which works extremely well I would mark it as evergreen um, this is just coincidence with the color but I would mark it evergreen and then in March I would send it at the end not like exactly month uh, after the, you send the email in the February but let's say you would send it like I don't know uh, 20th or 25th of the March, it would be fine. Just make it evergreen and send them because they are already proven to work. So there's really no no need to reinvent the wheel. Just keep sending them, and they're gonna do extremely well all, every single time. Just make sure you exclude the people who actually click the email uh, that you sent previously, so they're not seeing the same stuff. But other than that, I highly recommend you do. An additional tip would be just to run uh, for those evergreen campaigns specifically, run a B test for a subject line uh, and have two different subject lines different than you had previously so overall it's gonna be like three subject lines even though the image is still the same so yeah that's what i'm going to do uh, i hope you found it useful and helpful if you have any ideas about the calendar let me know in the in the comments down below even with this tutorial you might feel like creating a campaign calendar is a tough task but all you really need is just more practice and experience and it will get way easier over time but if you want to get immediate results and you don't want to waste a ton of time you can book a call with me using a link in the video description I will not only handle your campaigns, but the overall email marketing strategy, including sign-up forms, flows, and deliverability. So don't wait, book a call, and let's have a chat. That's gonna be it for this video. If you want to learn more about Klaviyo or email marketing, I have a bunch of guides and tutorials which are easy to follow, even for beginners, so make sure you check them out. Playlist will pop up somewhere on the screen right now. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye!